This is part three of the Sci-Fi Lantern, and I've done the materials, and I think I'm just going to talk to you about them and show you the materials and give you a couple of tips. Uh, before I do that, I will mention that I made some modeling changes. So I came up to this cap region, and uh, I was going to hide that. This was basically the cap, and what I did is I went in and I deleted this part, and that's what you see right here, okay? And I copied it down here and I made it smaller and I put an emission on there. And I'm just going to come over here and show you a little bit of this. All right, so there's this piece here with an emission. And I've got, there's the original cap. I'll go through the materials in a moment. As you can see, I got those there and I got the, uh, the tubes. Uh, and I want to talk to you about what I've done down here. Boy, it looks all funny here. Let's just focus on that go in there we go all right for this piece here what I did was I came over here and I'm just going to hide that for a moment and I came in and in face selection I selected that and control plus to expand my selection and then I copied it shift D I'm just going to move it out though P and I'll break it out so I've got that piece uh, right there. Let's just actually select that, that one. All right, and I wanted to put that hazard strip on it. And in order to do that, I added a few more edge loops on this. So I'm gonna control R and then roll my mouse up until I had four edges in there. And I did that all the way around. Okay, so it's roughly equal squares. And then I thought to myself, I'm going to have to unwrap this. Uh, where do I want the seam to be? So I decided that right in the front, I would put one more edge. And with that edge selected, I would control E, mark seam. Mark seam like that. And I can select that. I'll go to UV editing. Just make sure that's visible there. And I went U, unwrap. And then I got this. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is go over to the shading tab and focus just on that. And I will get rid of all these materials so I can show you how to make that. Okay. Um, I'll just call this test. Okay. So what I did is I went shift A, texture, wave texture. And then with that selected, control T, and that brought me a texture coordinate and UV mapping. And I switched that like that from UV to vector. This will give me those diagonal lines, but the colors of the lines come from a converter color ramp. So I connected those. I'll connect this right now and you can have a look at it. You can see sort of a faint black line there. As I bring these closer together, the white and the black it gets sharper and sharper and that's what I'm really going to need so I'm going to have the black and in the white area just make that you know whatever your however you do your hazard stuff let's say something like that okay then I started to play with the, the Z rotation like this I think I want it the other way minus so go to about minus uh, minus 25 let's try minus 25 for now okay scale you can try a different number for the scale so this part all looks okay but there is a seam there let's go back to layout bring everything back alt h so this is what i have here very similar if I hide this, you can see there's my seam. And that's why I built that and put that in there. Okay, so that's how I did that. These things are just decals. I brought in images as planes. And what you can see, let me turn my lights back on. Okay. I've got these materials. I'll show you them in a second. I've got black. I've got metal. I've got the base or the body color. I called this black handle because I started it there. And I called it handle. And uh, then I went around and I just copied that here and there. So got some black in there. I put some black in the base as well as that body material. I put the black on there. I put the black on these pieces. I made little, you know, 
uh, grips, whatever, on there. Um, and to do that, I just very simply came in here and in face selection, shift, alt, and click, something like that. Shift D, I'll bring it out. P to break it out. Let's just focus on that thing itself. Look from the front. Let's go in. Uh, we can scale that in the Z. I made it a bit smaller. And the scale shift Z made it a bit wider. Uh, and then the only other thing was I, I selected the edges. And I don't think they're perfectly straight. So just watch the top. S, Z, 0. See that straightened it. So I did that at the top and the bottom. Okay. And then I, I used those pieces and copied them around so I had that because I just thought it would look a little bit nicer I don't know I just wanted a bit more black in there uh, like I say decals are just uh, images as planes um, to get them on the side nicely what I did is I actually looked from the front brought in a decal put it there okay shrink wrapped it so you see the shrink wrap on here and then I just uh, with my cursor right in the middle I just rotated it 120 degrees. It was easier than trying to rotate it and line it up there. So I just did whatever on it. Um, okay, so in terms of the materials, uh, I'll show you. Okay, so we got the body material. So let's look at that and then I'll show you a quick render. So body is just, you know, just straightforward principled BSDF. I've got a color in here. I've lowered the roughness just a little bit. I've added a bit of clear coat for that shine, and that's that's all I changed. All right, you know I could have done noise, but I I, I didn't I didn't really feel like it. Uh, for the black, it's very similar. Okay, let's go for body. I call this handle. Just a principal BSDF black uh, base color and drop the roughness a little bit looks like i didn't even adjust the clear coat that, and that was it okay for the metal here it is um i dropped it wasn't pure white i made it a slightly grayish color brought the metallic all the way up roughness down just a little bit that's it that was my metal okay um let's look at these ones here this inside piece there which I called uh, not the cap but I called that just a cap emission that's all it is it's an emission going into the output with a nice blue color strength of five and then to make the cap itself this one's a, a little bit more complicated all right so I can leave that up you can take a screenshot if you're interested in this I've got two principal BSTFs going into a mix shader I brought in a layer weight and I've used the Fresnel output into the fact I put that at 0 0.2 let's look at this principal BSTF first that's in the bottom socket there okay I've got a base color that's white drop the roughness a tiny bit but the transmission is all the way up at one okay so we would transmit the light that would go through I've set an emission color of slightly greenish and or maybe more than slightly green whatever and then an emission strength of 10. For the second, then I just copied that uh, principal BSDF, put it in the first socket here. I made the base color blue, so it's kind of a mix kind of um, roughness, nothing special going on there. Transmission, though, I dropped to about a third. Instead of one, it's 0.38 or so. A little bit of roughness, I'll show you that in a second. I've set a, dark, uh, a darker blue emission. Emission strength was just one, though. So that would give me this right there. All right, that, that color. And I'm gonna go in the shading tab. You can see, there it is. Okay, uh, let's go back. However, um, you gotta make sure that you come over here and look at my settings. Okay, I've got back face culling on. Alpha blend for the blend mode, alpha clip for the shadow mode. My clip threshold there, show back face, and screen space uh, refraction. I click that on, and that gave me that effect so I could see through it. And then finally, for the tubes themselves here, very similar setup. Two principal BSDFs, a mixed shader, layer weight with Fresnel, but this one is 0.02. Let's look at this. 
this one I made an ever so slightly greenish color. You could have left that probably as white. I've dropped the roughness quite a bit, so they're they're shiny, look almost like glass or plastic or something. My transmission is up at one. All right, I've got an emission of white with a strong emission strength of 20. Copy it over, second one, everything looks pretty similar. Drop the roughness down, okay? Bring the transmission all the way up. Uh, transmission or emission strength was the same, but to get the actual color of that, I've got it over here. I brought in a layer weight, but this time I'm using the facing output at 0 0.8 into a color ramp. And for my color ramp, I made my first color a blue color, my second color black, and I pulled that down about, I don't know, one third. And that was what I used to get this effect here. Okay, anything special going on here? Not really, nothing special going on there. And that gave me that effect. It's very similar to when I did the compact uh, fluorescent bulb video. So you can have a look at that as well for, for tips about this. But it gave me the blue on the inside, a darker color here, and the white on the outside to sort of accentuate that. I've also got uh, an HDR image uh, for my lighting. And I've thrown in a few area lights and point lights uh, and lights here and there uh, just to, uh, you know, to brighten the thing up and, and et cetera, et cetera. And like I say, and just some decals. All right, so that's, those are the materials without going through them too much. And just as a quick render, uh, this, is, this is what I've come up with. Now, I will say that I've done something in compositing, not very much. I've got a bit of glare and sharpening, I'll show you that. But this was the effect that I, I wanted to achieve on the sci-fi lantern. So I'll just really quickly show you, uh, let's see, can I go into compositing? Yeah, okay, without the image in the background. So what I've done is I've just added a glare. I've used fog glow. I've just turned it down a little bit. I'm on high quality. So glare, and then I added some sharpening. Okay, and for that, I think it's just a filter. You come under filter and choose and sharpen whatever but very very little okay uh, in the end when I render okay and this stuff will be added at the end and of course I did this I uh, remember in uh, in Eevee so that would give me just a little bit of sharpening actually I think I sharpened it a tiny bit more as well um, so yeah that's that's it it's very clean um, but that's what I was going for so that gives you the hazard strip it gives you the glow this is the basic metal and body material and black and sort of this uh, translucent stuff. You know, it's got a little bit of roughness on there so that it looks a little bit um, cloudy, a tiny bit opaque. So that's it. That's what I've done. So let's call this uh, project done. Uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next project.